Hey, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done a voiceover. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the McCart Poly Gel. And I'm going to be doing this poly gel application. I'm going to start with this foundation, which is a base gel. And I'm going to apply it onto the nail. Now, this is going to be kind of the secret weapon. This is a French brush or French detailer brush, but I'm, we're going to use this for the poly gel application. So what I'm going to do is, this is the first time I'm trying it out, so I'm going to tell you kind of my first impressions of it. Um, so using a larger brush is going to really help. Um, I'm going to use 70% alcohol in my little dish, and I have a little um, I'm using a mask, but I'm using like a tissue or whatever to clean it off. And first impression when I am doing this is I'm just trying to flatten it into the cuticle area and then smooth it down and just get one, one little layer. I'm not trying to get it too thick. I'm not trying to add any apex. I'm just trying to kind of build it um, evenly. And so just keep in mind, if you are doing this on yourself, you want to create a little bit more of an apex but i'll explain that more towards the end when we get to that part um so hopefully you enjoy watching this video if you are new to poly gel or if it never really has worked for you hopefully this helps and i'll share with you what i've kind of learned so far
All right, so now that we have these two layers, it's going to be my kind of secret to even doing acrylic nails is this little bead that fills in that gap, which can sometimes make the nails lumpy or uneven. So I'm going to apply it upwards and then I'm going to blend it down. And that's just going to even out my second layer. I'm going to stop after this, but I do recommend doing a third layer um, in the apex area and smoothing it into the cuticle and into the tip of the nail. Um, so I'll probably do a video separately on actually how to get the, the shape right. But since this is just my practice hand, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stop here. What it is is just going to give me a nice and even smooth nail, but not necessarily an apex. Um, the nails are pretty thick though. They don't look that thick, but they have some shape to them. So I think they would actually be fine like this too. But I would always just, especially with length, just guarantee that it has more of that little apex area. You know what I mean? Um, because I have made some mistakes. I have done some nails that should not have been as thin as they were. And it's been bad. Okay let's just leave it at that um so i'm going to continue with doing this kind of uh, fill in bead or kind of yeah fill in bead however you want to call it and um this really helps in even it out smooth it out and it's okay if it's not like perfect and smooth in the first and second try as long as it's mostly even you can add these little beads to fill it in um same with as acrylic right it's going to be pretty much the same but it's really cool because you can really smooth it out and take your time with it and then you're you're curing it right just the same with gel but i just love that it's not sticky because even with gel you get that stickiness and uh i don't know it you have to master every craft because everyone is so different if you're using poly gel regular gel acrylic um even if you do like dual forms or um you know like the poly gel with the with the little i think they are called dual forms yeah so um yeah it's just it's really fun so uh, let me know if this is something that you would try out if you've never done it before. Some people have allergies to acrylic, so this can definitely be an alternative. And even if the smell is not something that um, you can do where you are, this is really cool because there's no smell. And alcohol is really inexpensive. This is a 70% alcohol, like I mentioned. So it's really cool. I do have a slip solution, but I don't. I feel like alcohol is perfectly fine. Um, I'll test it out and see if one is better. But I find that alcohol will work will work as well. Um, yes. Yeah, so I feel like when you're doing poly gel, you kind of have to train your brain if you're used to using acrylic, because you're thinking that the monomer or the the liquid is gonna help help it but it's really just making it more slippery and drippy so it's like you kind of have to get that out of your head and just kind of flatten it and smooth it with the brush so it's a little different so um yeah i'm gonna stop here and um i'll let you see the rest of the application after this i'm just going to hand file it and i passed through it just a little bit with my sanding band and i did a matte top coat and you'll see the reveal at the end of the video